What's the story with that? Well, I am moving my feet because I can't walk. Uh, maybe we'll call this video Complications. So, we worked out that I have blood clots, or I had blood clots, uh, starting the lower part of my body, going down through each of the legs, which is why I was hobbling around a lot. And that's quite serious, so I had to deal with that. Um, been a tough few weeks, mainly dealing with the blood clots. Chemo isn't so bad. And you get on with that, it's good fun. I had to shave my head, which I do anyway, but it's starting to get kind of, you know, starting to come out. So, looking like a bit of a crazy person. Shave it off. Same with the beard. I'm starting to lose chunks of it, like a big old crazy person. So, they have to go. What are you gonna do? It'll come back. I might get a toupee. Some kind of crazy Lego man toupee or Hitler kind of toupee. That'd be awesome. But until then, blood clots. Uh, they put me on blood thinners at first, which are injections into your gut, which are uh, not much fun, but every day we get them. Helped a little bit. Uh, I was starting to make improvements, I thought. But when the doctors here in the hospital had a chance to go over all my CT scans and stuff, they decided the blood clots were quite serious. Excuse me, all the pills. The blood clots were quite serious. So uh, one day I was sitting at home, got a phone call saying I had to be in the next morning. Came in for some procedure I didn't understand. Uh, you know, they say it to you. You don't know what they're saying. They could be speaking Klingon. But I came in. And what the procedure actually was was it's in a department in the hospital called uh, Interventional Radiology. So it's like, kind of like getting a CAT scan, but there's guys in the room at the same time, all wearing big body suits made out of lead, and they operate on you, and you're awake. They give you, you know, local anesthetic, and you're kind of sedated, so you're a bit, a bit wobbly, but uh, not out of it as much as you'd hope to be. But you lie in your gut, you lie like prone, face down, and they go in the back of your legs, both legs, they put two holes, use something called a sheet, and they go in with, I think, cameras and stuff, and they go right down your veins, up your veins, they take a good look around, they, uh, do, they do a lot of stuff. And then you spend 24 hours after the surgery uh, lying in a bed with five drips attached to you, two in each leg, one in the arm, and it pumps in what they call cloth busters, for 24 hours, this stuff pumps in and it dissolves the blood clot. After 24 hours, you go back, you do the surgery again. They go in through the same ports, so the ports have been left there. You can't move over this 24 hours. It was horrific. And if things haven't gone according to plan, they do another 24 hours and then do the surgery again, which I did. So, three surgeries. Uh, got most of the clot. It dissolved very well. I had two stints put in into the, my main veins. Uh, if you can kind of imagine your main vein comes down your your torso then breaks into two and goes down your legs so right up there somewhere there's two stints in me now kind of weird to think about but you know you've no conscious like feeling of them you don't know they're in there but that should make sure that you know any other kind of clotty stuff doesn't kill me which is awesome but all this is probably caused by the cancer symptomatic um is how did they put it the surgeon explained it to me pretty well the the cancer will spread and one of the first places it goes is into your lymph nodes at the bottom of your back they could have pressed against that main vein and caused the blood to back up or blood to stagnate and uh you know blood clots and that's pretty serious so even more serious than the cancer and yeah the last few weeks dealing with that but there you go here's a bit of an update um it's done now i still can't walk but I've been told that the recovery from that should be pretty quick. Uh, so I'll be hobbling around for a week or so, doing my little exercises, my little tap dances. And uh, yeah, awesome, awesome sauce. But all in all, could be worse. Starting chemo again tomorrow, another five day block. And then uh, after that five day block, I'm back home, hopefully. So maybe I'll update you guys then, or maybe I'll do a video during the week if there's any changes. I don't know, nothing else really to report. First block of chemo made me pretty sick once or twice. Uh, 
but you know they have plenty of anti-sickness medication so if you do get really sick they just up your dose or change medication until they find something that calms you down so chemo doesn't make you sick really anymore they they, they medicate that out of it but uh yeah there you go don't know what else to say don't get blood clots you know if you're sitting in an airplane wear the special socks you don't want to deal with that shit anyway peace <laughs>